today I'm going to share with you my very special and famous torta di spinafri, which is a spinach torte. A lot of my friends will ask me to make this recipe when we have potlucks or a lunch at somebody's house, and I'll tell you what, it is amazing. First, we're going to work on the crust of our torte. In a food processor, you're going to want to put one and a half cups of white flour and a cup of whole wheat flour. To this, we are going to add one cup of vegan butter. I usually use Earth Balance or Smart Balance. Whatever kind of vegan butter you want to use, go ahead and use that, but you want to make sure that it is cold vegan butter. We're just gonna go ahead and pulse our food processor with our flour and our butter just until it's mixed up and it starts to make a little bit of a crumble. Once you get that crumble, we're going to add one teaspoon of salt. You're going to want to take a cup of ice water and add about six to eight tablespoons of water to this. And it will form into a dough and when you see it start to go round and form into a ball, that's when you know you have enough water and you don't need it anymore. I like to take my dough and to divide it in half. That way I have the top bottom and the half bottom. And then I just roll it in parchment paper or plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for a couple of hours to help it to set. If you wanna make this the day before, that will cut down on your time for making it the day of. In a pan on medium heat, we're going to take one tablespoon of olive oil with half of an onion diced and four cloves of garlic that have been minced and we're going to saute this until the onions are transparent. Then we're going to add our one pound of fresh spinach. Fresh is always better. And you may need to add your spinach a little at a time and wait till some wilts down and add the rest of it on top of it until it all wilts down. We're going to turn this down to a low heat and add the rest of our ingredients. We're going to add eight ounces of vegan sour cream. I like to use the Tofuri brand, but whatever kind you want to use is fine. And then we're going to use this Daya mozzarella style shreds. You can use whatever kind of vegan cheese that you're wanting, but I find that this one works well because it really melts down well. We're just going to add salt to taste. Usually it takes about a half of a teaspoon. We're going to take our crusts that have been in the fridge for a few hours and we're going to roll it out to fit whatever pie pan that you're using. I like to take my pie pan and put it over the crust once I've had it all rolled out just to make sure to see it's the right size for my crust. We're going to poke holes in the bottom of our crust and we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees just for about five to eight minutes until the crust is baked just a little bit because otherwise it can be a little doughy if you don't do this part before. We're going to add our filling into the pie crust and then we're going to fit the top of the crust as well. And we're going to bake this again at 350 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. Watch the crust because when it turns golden brown on top, that's when you know it's finished. But you want to put some air holes in the top so the crust doesn't just puff up. Once it's finished baking, you want to let it set for about 10 minutes and then it is ready to serve. is to this torta di spinaci and it is a great recipe to share with friends and family for potluck or just having people over for dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below and be sure to share this with your friends and family as well. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.